Yep, it's that time of year again. Tis the season for the leafage to fall on the ground. You see, many people love fall. Unfortunately, I hate it. I hate it very badly. There's a lot of work, a lot of cleanup. Everything's dying, it gets dark out very early. And well, tank top season's coming to an end. But if you're planning on raking all your leaves and burning them and all that stuff, just hold up. Wait until you see what I got for you today. I think you're really gonna like it. I think it's gonna save you some time, some energy, and you're gonna think it's cool. So here's my issue. I got raised beds, the leaves collect around that. I mean, it just makes a mess. I can't get my lawnmower in there to get this stuff out. It throws all my mulch out. Then I got the trampoline that the kids have. It gets underneath, gets on top. That's a freaking nightmare. And I get all these woods behind my house. And I'll tell you, these are really heavy, thick, nasty leaves just blow all over my yard. Then I got this like drainage ditch type of deal where the water runs down. All those leaves get stuck in there and it's not real nice like. And I'm just tired of dealing with it. And there's some areas I just can't get into until now. This is the Troy Bill. Yes, there's the model number. This is the 163cc chipper shredder vacuum. Yeah, this thing is a vacuum cleaner for your yard. It has three really, really awesome features and I'm gonna show them to you right now. So the first thing I wanna use this for is my mulch beds, raised beds, whatever you wanna call them. The leaves, they get up all around right there and that's, well, not real nice like right there. So I can't hit this with my mower right there because it's gonna take that mulch and blow it out the size. So what's nice about this is this is an actual vacuum. Yes, it is a vacuum cleaner for your yard. So let me show you how to use this right here first, and then we'll go over the bigger unit a little bit later in the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this vacuum attachment basically, pull this out and bring this down all the way in, and then I'll let this clip in so this doesn't come out. And now I'm gonna start the unit, which is actually pretty simple to do. Now what's cool about this thing is you can really get into those awkward and tight areas with this. You've got a little bit of a flexible hose there, allows you to reach and look at it, it just takes this stuff and sucks it right out of there. And the one thing I really liked about this is that it had enough power to pull up all the leaves, but it didn't suck up the mulch or anything else that I didn't want. Mothers and fathers, if you have a trampoline in your backyard, you know the pain that I feel. Look at it. <laughs> Freaking mess in there. We're gonna get all that out there. I'm gonna just speed this up a little bit so you can see it in action, but this thing really had a lot of power. And I'll tell you what, I did not have any jams in that tube in that line at all because listen these leaves are really really big if you can see them they're very large leaves i was surprised with that i was even able to get underneath the trampoline and i blew most of these leaves out with a leaf blower and these were the ones that were left out i'm telling you these leaves are very heavy very large so i was able to get under there where the leaf blower was not able to push the rest out all right so our bags getting a little bit full it's time to empty it now this is one of the only issues that I have with this entire system. So basically you just take this, you pull that off, then you got a latch system right here. It's easy enough to take off. So let's go ahead and empty this thing out. Just turn this right here and this back opens up. It's like a diaper really. Now mind you, these are the type of leaves that we're pulling up. These are big mofos. And well, this is what it turns into after you're done mulching it. So it does a real nice like job if you ask me. So we'll just empty this out right here. That's a real nice mulch right there. Now the only real issue that I find with this entire unit is putting the bag back on. It's kind of a pain in the butt. You see that metal piece right there? It's gotta be pushing down on that safety button and it's well not real easy to put back on. So, you know, once you get it on there, don't get me wrong, it holds tight, but yeah, it's a pain in the butt to get this thing on. Now the second cool thing about this is the vacuum. So we have to adjust this a little bit. Now to turn this into a vacuum, we're gonna pull this out. We're gonna put it right there, bring it up a notch. Take this lever, pull up and bring it there and then it opens this up right there. So now what I'm gonna do is suck those leaves out. There we go.
for the heavier stuff, you can adjust the wheels up or down. We're going to go up, we're going to pull all those big leaves in now. I'll tell you what, this damn thing really pulls those heavier freaking leaves in there. You can adjust those wheels up a little bit higher, hit that heavier stuff, and you really want to just clean it up, make it look like a golf course or real nice like. Just bring those wheels down and then clean it up like that. That is impressive, but it does one more thing. What do we have right here in my yard? A bunch of big sticks. It's about an inch and a half wide. Now I do want to make you aware that if your stick's bent a little bit, it might have some trouble going down in there. You might have to push it in with another stick. Don't put your hands and like, you know, kind of get them in there. But long story short, it really takes the stuff, shreds it up and goes in this bag. It makes it really fine particles. I really like that. Got tons and tons of power on this thing. So really you got three different modes on this. You got the suck, the suck, and then you got the chip. So chip, suck, suck, or vice versa. Tons and tons of freaking power on this unit. I was really surprised with just how much this was able to take in. And those leaves, let me tell you, those things were huge. You're not those small little leaves. They're like big maple leaves and all kinds of stuff around here. So very impressed with the whole thing. The one issue I had with this was, well, this, this bag's sort of a pain in the butt to put on. Taking it off, it's fine. As far as it goes, with starting this thing, super, super easy to start. The deck, the deck is freaking solid. This thing is made very well. The steel on here, they're not messing around. You got some heavy gauge stamp steel. That, my friend, is real nice. Like. You also got the cell propelled up here, which I wish was a little bit faster. However, it's not just that one slow pace. That said, if you're picking up a lot of heavy leaves, you might want to go slower anyway. Now, as it goes for like big jobs, if you have a huge acre, 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 acre property, like maybe like five or 10 or thousand acres, this might not be for you. However, if you have a regular size yard, I would say an acre, you're going to be able to do very many leaves, be able to pick stuff up, very simple. Uh, you're really going to like this thing. And of course, when you're done, you don't have to worry about raking these leaves, burning your leaves, you just take them. They're already mulched up. You can either save them for your garden next year, or you can just throw them in a garbage bag and toss them out on the curb. Definitely does a pretty good job mulching these things up into very baby, baby, tiny sized pieces. So the Troy Built Chipper Shredder Vacuum, is it real nice like? Yes, absolutely real nice like. I definitely recommend. No leaking, no nothing. Built very well. It just runs great. It's real nice like. Now, I got a video for you right here. If you want to check that out, that'd be real nice like too. I think you're really going to like it. We'll be back with more videos soon.